Today we're gonna transplant raspberries. I bought some raspberry transplants from Fedco. Actually, they have a division called, uh, I forgot what it's Super called. Fedco. Super Fedco. Super um, Fedco. Anyway, there's a subsidiary of Fedco that sells plants, and these, what look like pods, are actually bags of raspberry transplants. Raspberries don't like to be transplanted, so we have to be really careful about it. Um, we're going to put a bunch of manure in one of our raised beds, dig some trenches, drop these guys in, and show you this special trick we learned from Fedco about how to help them survive the transplant process. All right? All right. Here we go. You must be playing the camera. Oh! This is what I like about a raised bed. If you have a, a diminished capacity in your spine like I do, you can just sit on the edge like this and uh, you can do a pretty good job of turning the soil over. and You're not herniating L5, S1. So we've got our manure mixed in and turned all nicely. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these bands off. Where my knife is. And we're gonna put them in a bucket that has, um, it's called Agrigel, it's also called Terrazorb in it as well. These are those crystals that absorb a bunch of water and puff up really giant. So you don't need too much of this, you need about, I took two tablespoons. Ice? Looks like ice. Or row. Or yeah, or, or crystalline salmon eggs or something. But what's gonna happen is, is we're gonna dunk these in the water with all the agrigel, and agrigel will cling to the roots. And so when we transplant, the roots will have some water being fed to it during the transplant process. Which is really cool. Which is, is very important for raspberries. It's, it's, the agrigel stuff is great just for whenever you're transplanting plants. Um, you just can dust a, like a couple teaspoons full in the hole, put your plant in there and put the soil in, and when you water it, those gels swell up and then um, they feed the water back to the plant over a week or so. So, you know, you don't have to water it every day. It's also really good for uh, like window boxes. Weekenders. Weekenders, <laughs> the evil weekenders. Who could that be? What's going on over there? But I'm gonna take this whole bunch and dunk them, dunk them in here. But see, when you pull this back out again, you see how all the gel is clinging to the roots like that? That's great. So you see when you, we just tease one of these out. These are really nice robust plants we have here. I'm dunking them in the gel here. And you get the roots all covered. And you drop them in and you lay out the roots. And then what I'm doing is I'm taking some of the gel, taking some of this stuff, and just kind of dropping it on the, on the roots in the trench. Fish emulsion is really good to help reduce transplant shock, so after we're done here, I'll water them with the watering bucket with a mixture of water and fish emulsion, and that'll do a really good job. Okay, so that's how you transplant raspberries. We'll keep you updated as to how they're doing. We'll, we'll do some shots of them later. So that's all about raspberries. Tell your friends about the show, please. Visit www.gardenfork.tv. If you have any questions, send us an email. And thanks for watching. All right.